Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Jeremy, and today I'm gonna have some fun walking you through this Winnebago Class A motorhome. Now, what's really unique about this motorhome is it's built on the F53 chassis. What's really neat about these is the suspension setup and what we're going to be doing to improve the ride on these. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go jump into all the things that we did on this Sunstar made by Winnebago. All right, so this is gonna be a lot of fun talking about all the improvements that we did to this Winnebago Sunstar. So now really this kit that we've packaged all together is gonna to consist of six key components on there, which you can do any of these components by themselves or package it all in this kit. So I'm gonna start with the rear of this. So typically on these RVs, you get a lot of sway out of them. People are gonna recommend sumo springs, possibly even a track bar or a heavier duty sway bar. Well, we're taking a different approach to this and we're actually adding another spring to the bottom of your leaf pack. Now, depending on your RV weight, you're gonna have three or four leaf springs from the factory on the rear of it. So what we're going to be doing is adding one more spring to the rear of it, increasing your spring rate, as well as increasing weight carrying capacity of this. Now, if you wanna know more about this, this kind of jumps into our 5C program, where we take this whole approach to making your RV drive better. I'll throw up a card right there. You can check that out. There'll also be a link down below. With the rear spring addition, it also has the ability to bring it up one to two inches, which is going to be nice on a lot of your coaches that possibly already sit low or just the springs are tired over the years. In the front, we're going to kind of take the same approach to it. We're going to add a spring to the front of it. So if you have that same thing, an 18 or a 24K coach, you're going to either have two springs in the front or you're going to have a third spring in the front. So you can see that we're kind of following what the factory is doing, adding a little bit more to increase that weight carrying capacity as well as reduce the sway that typically these coaches have. Now, in order to control that, you're still going to need a really good shock on there. Well, we find that due to the overall weight of this coach, that most 2.0 shocks just don't do a job well enough. And then the problem is, is these shocks can get hot with long driving. So what we're offering is this 2.5 King shock. Now, the benefit in this shock is we're controlling the compression. So how fast your shock compresses, as well as the extension, how far it extends. Because the big thing is you get in to a roll or sway. And what happens is one side doesn't have enough compression to slow it down and the other side may have a lot of rebound trying to help it. But once it goes back to that other side, it puts all of the load back on that other shock. We're controlling it both ways on the compression and rebound side of it. Now, another key thing is that these shocks are gas pressured as well as the best part about it, guys, is they're 100% rebuildable. So the goal is to never have you buying a shock again. You're gonna buy this shock one time time and be able to change it, modify it, rebuild it, whatever you may need. Now we didn't stop there. Keep in mind that if you're gonna add springs to the front of your F53 RV, you will need an adjustable drag link. That's something that we offer as well in order to get proper alignment out of it. The last product that we offer here at Weld Tech Designs that we've done on this particular Winnebago Sunstar is going to be our King 2.0 steering stabilizer. Now we did go back to that smaller shock and it is a gas pressured shock. That's going to control your steering. So whether you're driving on the highway, you're driving down that windy road and you get that feedback in your steering wheel. That's really going to help reduce that feedback as well as tighten up that steering just a bit to give it that nice controlled ride. It's really big and it's going to make a big difference. So even if you don't have our suspension on your RV and you're just looking to find something, well, a steering stabilizer is going to be the great thing to start off with. And we can sell this to you just by itself. We also offer insulation of that as well. A lot of really cool parts that went into this. We also increased the overall height of this by two inches because it did sit lower than what the customer wanted. Well, that was a lot of fun talking about all the suspension improvements that we did on this F53 chassis. Now this is a Winnebago Sunstar, but I know that there's a lot of different coaches built on this F53 chassis. What I would really like to hear is from you guys and let me know the suspension or driving concerns that you have with it and what 
you would like to see improved upon. Now you can do that by commenting down below and while I'm asking for favors, hit that thumbs up button and also smash that subscribe button. Come hang out with me some more as we're gonna be breaking down all of the suspension on these things, showing you the pros and cons of them over at WTDU. That's gonna be really important and I think informational for you guys. So let's recap what we did on here real quick. We added a spring to the front of it. We also added the spring to the rear, increasing the overall spring rate of this coach. We also added 2.5 King shocks. It's a gas pressured shock at all four corners. We added a 2.0 King steering stabilizer to the front of it, as well as an adjustable drag link to get that steering wheel perfectly straight. That's all I got for this video. Again, this is a Winnebago Sunstar built on an F53 chassis. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs. I'll see you guys in the next video.